Hello, I'm Scott Todnam, and this is the Classroom Connection video of the week. This week we'll talk with some seventh graders. We've been looking at advocacy projects, mental health, we've also examined body image as a topic, stress and self-esteem, a whole lot of things. We'll see what they want to talk about and we'll get their feelings on the last few weeks of health class. Stay tuned. Hello, here we are. I'm here with three seventh grade students and we're gonna talk about the last few weeks of health class, basically the whole quarter. I haven't had any seventh graders in quite yet. So first question coming. What it has been memorable? What is the most meaningful couple of lessons from our few weeks together so far? We got to watch these videos um, and they were on people that like had a disorder or disability and like got made fun of or something. I just thought it was really interesting that like people could be like so mean and like those people that were getting made fun of and stuff, they just, they, they don't let it like phase them or anything. And it's like kind of weird because when someone says something mean to me, like, it's really hard for me to like not let that bother me. We watched a video in class a few days ago and I watched it and it just gave like a really big impact on me and I rewatched it a few times because I kept, it kept me thinking about like how cruel kids can be and like how like personal it can like hurt them. And it made me think about how not just how I talk to people but how other people can talk to me. I think it's really cool that every Friday we get to come in and we get to do something called Totally Trivia. And there is a question on the board that we get to answer and put it in a bin. And Mr. Tottenham will um, call on people and he'll get their answers and we'll give them candy. So it's also fun to know that you can get, like, get a prize from getting a trivia question right. And then we also do wacky facts that usually make me laugh. Totally a healthy prize, right? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else that's had an impact in the actual classroom for you as you enter the room every day in seventh grade health? What do you notice? What do you want to talk about on our actual room right here? Definitely the do good, be kind um, chalkboard really just like stuck out to me because it just has so many motivational like words and like quotes on there that just like shows you how that you should be nice to everyone else and you should teach people that they should be nice to others too. So every time I walk into the room, I like first look at the um, what national day it is because like I feel like what it is like I'll like actually like think about it and like if it's like food I'll like eat the food and if it's like something like being kind like I'll be kind so yeah. <laughs> so my favorite part of this room is that we don't have a seating chart so we can sit wherever we want with our friends and then we also we have some desks and then we have like um, tables like this with comfy chairs. And we have high chairs too, and back there we also have a couch. Alright, final question today. What do you hope we get into as a health class topic? What do you need? What skills do you need as life skills? What type of lessons do you enjoy? What would be helpful out of the school experience? I really hope to learn like how to deal with like situations that you don't want to be in. And like if you get in a fight with someone, like how do you what do you say? How do you like handle it? And also like peer pressure and how to like deal with that and just any situation that you don't want to be in. I also agree with what she said because I also want to know like if you're on some kind of social media and someone's saying something mean to you, do you want to post about it or do you tell someone or keep it to yourself? That's like something that I think all middle school people should know. I want to learn more about like peer pressure and the skills you might need in life to like go along with that. The classes I seem to learn best in videos and like real life examples so then I can like really get the way that things are working so I can like relate to myself. Okay that's it for this week. I'll be back next Friday with a couple new students and a new topic. I want to say thank you to my three seventh grade volunteers and so until next time see you later. Do good. Be kind. Have a great weekend. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's good. We're done.